sunshine and sunflowers. Welcome to Stone Magpie for this unboxing. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to open up these two packages and show you what's inside. And the theme, as you can see, is sunflowers and sunshine. Which one shall we start with? If you've watched my channel before, you'll probably recognise both these packages and where they are from, and it will probably give you an idea of what's inside each one too. So I'm going to start with this one. We'll pop that one aside. And you'll see from the label that it is a handmade product and it has come from France. It will give you a massive clue, as I say, about where this has come from and what's inside. Ta -da! And we should in here have a thank you card from Say Plus Beau à Tour in France. And it is, of course, my new diamond pen. Again, I was lucky to win on a Facebook drop. And thank you, Nicholas, for choosing me to receive this pen. I have got a couple now in my collection from Nicholas, and this is my recent acquisition for my collection. Let's pop it out of its beautiful velvet pouch that you get. And again, it does have my favourite multi-placer end to it. And we'll have a look. I'm hoping that this tablecloth isn't too distracting. <laughs> and oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It is even more beautiful than I thought from the photos. <gasps> Look at this. And ta-da, here is the sunflower. Oh, and it's encapsulated in this resin pen. And at this end here, oh look, in the middle, we've got this pinky flower, some little petals. And at this end, we've got this beautiful orange flower. Is that a marigold? I'm not quite sure. <gasps> but it is beautiful and the resin has got the glitter within it and it's got a lovely weight to it. It's a really elegant shape here, it dips in. Wow, so each side has a different grip. This one dips in here, which I like, so it holds really well. What's this end like? Oh, this end flares out but again it's got that dip where you can put your fingers and it feels wider this end than that end. They are beautiful diamond painting pens. I'll just measure it with my trusty new little tape measure. So the resin part of the pen itself is about 12, just about 12 and a half centimetres and the width around, I would say, two, two and a half centimetres. And then with the ends in, it is 16 centimetres from end to end with the ends beautiful, a really nice weight. I'll show you my others from Say Plus Beau à Tour to compare. So I now have three. I have my original Spring Blossom pen that I bought and I love. We have my new pen and we have the Rainbow pen as well. All different shapes and actually all different weights as well. This one being the heaviest this one is the next heaviest and this is the lightest one of them all. So they are my collection. And as I said, all different shapes and weights. So they are absolutely beautiful diamond painting pens. And 
when I say a Facebook drop, if you find Say Plobo at all on Facebook, Nicholas does, I think it's about 16 pens at a time. And on the Facebook drop, you put which pens you like, and then you are randomly drawn out to receive one. And if you're lucky enough, you head over to Etsy and make the payment. He does actually have an Etsy store as well, so you could always head over there and have a look there too. So an absolutely beautiful pen. Again, I am thrilled to receive. And a nice thank you card as well. So there we are. That is our first item in this unboxing. Next, we have this, which is from, as you will see, Amazon. And you'll see in a moment why I chose this kit. Let's open up the package. <laughs> yes, you'll see straight away why I chose this kit from Amazon. open we can see already that we've got 19 colours in this kit Ooh, very well stuck down I need my scissors there we are let's get out the canvas and have a closer look And here it is, the classic picture of sunflowers. Oh, now, what drew me to this one is the circle. I There's something about the circle canvases that I'm really drawn to at the moment. And I thought this one had super detail for being a 40 by 40 canvas. Look at this. Now, looking at the symbols, they are really, really clear and easy to read. And I thought for such a small picture that the detail in this one looked really good. Do you agree? We're going to pull back that cover a bit and take a closer look at it. We can, as I say, see that there are 19 colours and it is a circle shape canvas, so the edges are not diamond painted at all. So let's take a little measure and see. It is sold as a 40 by 40. I don't think it is. We'll measure the circumference. Yeah, it is actually a 34. And I'm sure it'll be the same width wise. There are a couple of creases in, so I'm just making sure that the tape measure is nice and flat. Yeah, 34. 34 by 34 for this canvas. But can you see the detail? I think it's really clear, interesting when it's diamond painted, whether this is still as clear as what it looks now. A really super little kit, a little project. Let's pull back this. Have a closer look without the gloss on it. So this edging is not sticky at all. It only gets sticky around the circle area. I think it looks really fab. A nice little project and it was £4.79 when I purchased it from Amazon. And as I always say, Amazon prices can change and um, I will put the link in the description box below, but do have a little look round and make sure that you get the best price for this one if you're interested. Yep, it's nice and sticky. 
So a super little canvas. Now you would wonder how to frame this being a circle. I'm not quite sure yet. I think for me, um, I would probably mount it as a circle, but it might be quite hard to do. So I'm not sure yet on the framing of this one. That is something to consider if you are considering to get one of these circled diamond paintings, but I am, I don't know why I'm drawn to it, I just am. Let's have a look at the diamonds and the toolkit. As expected, it is a very basic toolkit with basic pen, pink wax and green tray, no multi-placers. And the diamonds are round diamonds, each one in its own packet. look at those. They do look like very basic diamonds that you would expect. They don't feel um, staticky. They look quite clean. They are round diamonds so we won't have any problem with squaring off as we sometimes do with squares. And the colours are gorgeous. Of course being the sunflowers there are lots of oranges, browns, and a few greens thrown in. So really as expected. Wow, bright, bright, bright. So a really cute little sunflower kit to go with the sunflower pen and my sunflower tablecloth. <laughs> so as I say, if you're interested in this diamond painting, I will put the link below and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this circular canvas and the detail that we might get from such a small painting. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care everyone. Bye.